It's all connected. 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 It's all <laughs> Super loud, huh? Sorry, Miss. All right, so welcome to the It's All Connected show with me, Grimner, and the lovely Miss Circle from over there in Denmark. And you could, it, you know, yeah. you could turn up the sound completely and then would do it in ASMR. Yeah, I, I don't really, I'm not really good with, I tried doing that, you know. <laughs> do a whole show, and, and, did you try ASMR? Uh, just, just. Uh, yeah, I'm not very good at it. Anyway, welcome, folks. It is uh, Monday, October 26, 2020, and uh, we are live here on RealLibertyMedia.com, RLMRadio.xyz, uh, as well, for all you audio, well, it's, a, it's an audio-only show, so um, anyway, so uh, welcome to all the folks here in the chat that are tuned in, all the folks out there that are not in the chat that are tuned in, and and howdy to all the, the voices I see here in the chat. Rob Works, Cowboy Tech, Vin E, the Mighty Moose Girl. Uh, i seen Kate Beetle, uh, Chloe, Trust No One Anti. Uh, who else is chatting it up in here? Flash! The one and only Flash somebody. Flasher! <laughs> and, or as uh, I called him, that fucker there. Yeah, that bastard, that old bastard. Uh, and to anybody else that I, I didn't see chatting right in my immediate eyesight, howdy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so anyway, today's show is called, uh, Have You Found Your Tribe? Have you? <laughs> Have you? Well, did you? Um, I, 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 I rejected all Were tribes. Were you even looking for them? No, I'm not looking for them. I, I've kind of rejected all tribes and tribal You're not type tribal. things. You know, I, I'm not. I'm not a. Uh, I'm not really big on the whole ceremony type thing, and 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 tribes like ceremony. Um, so you're like um, Lucky Luke, the who? The lone cowboy, Lucky Luke. <laughs> I don't know who that is. <laughs> How can you not? Okay, you don't know Lucky Luke. Lucky the man, Luke. the cowboy that faster than his own shadow. Uh, yeah, I must have missed that. Whatever it was. Okay. Yeah. So, um, yeah. I mean, I, I, I guess, I guess RLM is my tribe, if you want to put it that way. Um, you know, the the folks here. Uh, you know, I have my my couple family members that are left still. Could they? Could they be tribe? I guess, but I don't really talk to them all that much. A couple times a year, uh, you know, my brother and my sister. Um, mm. But I, I'd say that the RLM would be the closest I have to a tribe. Uh, the folks that are in here. Um, why? Why? Why is it not a tribe? Why is it not a tribe? You said closest to. Why? Why? Why is it not a tribe? I don't know. I, I, I mean, I guess. I, I guess they are. I. I. I you know. Um, I, <laughs> is tribe is tribal like a a negative word to you? No, no, no. Tribe is fine. You know, if you if you need a group of people to hang out no, with. See, I see what you're doing. No, no, no. Tribes are fine. I just don't need it. <laughs> no, no. Ameri you know, it's nothing wrong with being an American. I'm just not one. Uh, right. Well, I, I don't consider myself. <laughs> American either. No, I was being I, funny. Then. I mean, I, I was born here, so they they slapped the sticker on me that says you're an American, because that's the way they think. Is that if you're born within a certain geographical area, uh, then then you're you're part of that group of people, whether you want to be or not. And they do it, yeah. you know, like first thing when you're born, so you don't really have a whole lot of. No, play. no. I need to clarify, Moose Girl. I, I, I didn't compare those two. It was the wording. There is Okay, no, there's nothing wrong with a tribe uh, if you really need a group. 
So it was just that comparison to the wording. There's none other, you know, I, I, I don't see, you know, well, tribes can be nationalities and nations, I guess. But. Sure. I, I mean, I, and, and, you know, in many cases here in the U.S. anyway, uh, where they, they put a tribe on a chunk of land and they say, okay, this is, this is where the Cherokee tribe is or uh, whatever native native people's tribe uh, they they say uh, you know your <laughs> your your tribe goes here on this chunk of land um, and and it's, and you must stay there cuz well whatever <laughs> so but i, I but don't cuz cuz i think i you know i'm very tribal okay yeah, I think tribe. You know, I I I recognize the need for a tribe and the um, um, the comfort and also the anchoring into blood and and you know grounding that comes with being part of a tribe. Yeah, see, but the thing is, um, generally uh, in in person. People annoy me, so, um, well, <laughs> so if, if if I'm part of the tribe, I'll, I'll be the one that, you know, the uh, the guy that sits sits over in his tent smoking the peace pipe by himself. And if some, you know, occasionally a, a person comes by or something, as long as they keep it brief, I'm okay with that. Mm-hmm. I, I don't want, you know, I don't want to be at like the big gatherings. You know, whatever the powwows, or or, or whatever. <laughs> so, uh, uh, well, what would you call that? You know, like kind of like a. Uh, uh, well, if you have rituals and you do certain dances and you, uh, all that, that <laughs> would point towards a cult, wouldn't it? Well, is a cult not a tribe? Uh yeah. But tribes are not all cults, though, right? No, 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 no. I wasn't saying no, that. But, but but I would say, yeah, I would say cults are definitely tribes. <laughs> yeah. uh, and it's probably that um, drive for a tribe that leads people into cults. I mean, part of it. Yeah, well, and then you, you got, um, I mean, people also adopt, like, uh, their locality as their tribe, you know. I'm 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 a I'm a New Mexican or I'm a uh, Moriartian whatever I don't know how I say that Mor Moriartian <laughs> But see I I have a uh, I personally I have a tribal relationship with the people I live amongst Well you you have you you have a family and you like your family I know they're always coming over to your house um, Yeah but still if I'm like in a foreign country and I hear somebody speaking Danish, I oh. go over to them and I consider them part of my tribe. Okay. So I would so talk. by so by language, communication. Yeah, because we share well, language is um I don't know, maybe I have a more romantic relationship with my language than you do. Because language is the voice of my mother. That's the the how we conveyed our stories to each other through thousands of years. Yeah, and your your language, however, uh, which is Danish, right? Yeah, I take pride in my language. Okay. I think we have a but, but it, it, <laughs> horrible it is to listen to. But, but but Danish is very limited. It's you know pretty much to to your country, to the country you live in. Not just pretty much. It is. Yeah, I think there are like. Ten Brazilians who also speak Danish or something, but, but English, kind of like Danish immigrants. Yeah, English. I mean, it's spoken everywhere. Obvi- yeah. Obviously, you speak it. <laughs> yeah, I do. <laughs> yeah, so, so, so I, I think there's you know a little less uh, uh, tribal type thing uh, with with English because it's it's spoken in so many places. Yeah, I would say so. As, as whereas, like, if I was. If I only spoke Danish, which probably some of the people in your country do, uh, the, the yeah. country you live in, not your country, unless you've become queen. I, oh, are, are you queen? Are you are you queen of Denmark yet? Yeah, I won it in a card game with the queen last week. Cool, cool. Um, she's trying to <laughs> not, you know, she's trying to hide it, but I'm like pushing, you know, you got to go public, lady. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, so yeah, so so. Uh, 
I, I can understand that. I mean, I mean, just like you know the, the various uh, uh, Native American. I, I hate calling them that, but that's what they're mm. generally generally known as. The uh, indigenous tribes of the of that live here in the North American area. Um, mm. Their their languages do, don't don't really leave the reservation. No. And, and it's funny because even though we are a small country, Grimnir, if I go like three hours in one direction, like uh, uh, west, right? Right. I'll end up, I'll end up somewhere where I really won't understand what they're saying. These, these... If I drive like three hours, I'd be over in Jutland where they, their dialects are like weird, dude. But do you, do you speak German fluently? No, no. I speak German um, hesitantly and uh, st- is, why would I say stumbling? Because <laughs> they're, they're your nearest neighbor, right? Those in Swedes, right? I I live in the east, so Sweden is right here. Oh, okay. And if they, those who live in, in Jutland, they are connected to Germany, so Germany is way closer to them, so they speak this weird dialect, man. All right, now, Jutland is is that is that a country? That's the main part of Denmark. Okay, Denmark so, has like one main part that's stuck to Germany all the way up north, and then it's got like I don't know, a lot of islands, right? Where the second, you know, the biggest of the islands, if you don't count Greenland, and we never do, uh, the biggest island, which is <laughs> Sealand, is where I live, because that would, you know. Greenland isn't an island, right? Yeah, it is. Is it? Yeah, Greenland is it's the biggest island on Earth. Well, oh, well they, they say that, but I, I consider Australia an island, so... <laughs> oh, <laughs> they, you're a rebel when it comes to geography. Well, right? they, they call themselves a continent, but, you know, it's just a big island. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, how come then if uh, Greenland isn't? Because it's just a colony of... Uh, of Denmark, then it. We could make it a continent if we want. Well, it, it is, but they're sovereign, right? I mean, they're a colony, but they're a voluntary colony, right? Yeah, but they, they, they but they, they still they to. still claim their own sovereignty as as a nation, right? Oh yeah, they do. And the Greenlandians would be a tribe. Well, they have our uh, they have their own parliament. Like we have regional parliaments, right? But then they are also, you know, within the Danish parliament. They have two seats. Okay. And the Faroe Islands, which is another, you know, sovereign state or nation that is part of the um, kingdom of Denmark, so an, another um, colony, also has two seats in the Danish parliament. Mm, okay. So, but... Um... You have your tribe. You have found your tribe. I was born into a tribe, right? Yeah. Which gives me one sense of belonging. But I've also figured out that throughout my life, I'm, I create my own tribe, though. A tribe within the tribe. And is a sense of belonging uh, an important factor in your life? Do you want to belong yeah. to a group? No, I want to be connected to something that's uh, older and bigger than me. That it's not so much belonging to a group. Okay, so it's a heritage type thing. Yeah, and it's a cultural thing, and um, yeah. Okay. I don't know. Yeah. It's a very emotional thing, isn't it? I, I don't know how emotional it is. I mean. For me, I, I don't, you know, I don't really feel the need or desire <laughs> to, <laughs> to be um, connected to uh, older ways, older, older types of thinking um, that that a group imposes upon you. Uh, you know, like like for example, I was uh, baptized as a Catholic before I had any say about it, right? Mm. So I, I mean. So should I be part of the Catholic tribe just because it was imposed upon me and and think in the ways that they do that you have to uh, go through all these uh, (laughs) various uh, 
what would you call them? Uh, rituals, I guess, that the Catholics do, um, mm. which I never did. You know, I never, I never did that. You know, that communion crap or uh, and any of the other things that that Catholics do. <laughs> and um, so I, I don't know because you see, well, that's the whole thing, though, right? You're describing it a lot as a tribe is something that you have to fit into. Well, isn't it? Well, not to me. To me, a tribe is something that uh, has my back, that accepts, you know, that ex- that I'm part of, that accepts me for who I am, that has my back. And okay, so um, being so, you're part of the tribe of Danes, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. Do they do they have your back? Does Denmark have yeah. your back? <laughs> I don't know, but uh, I've never, you know, I, I have never stood anywhere where I needed help and I didn't get it. Okay. I've I've never been around other Danes in some sort of distress and people didn't help me. Okay, and have you um, been standing around somewhere in distress often? <laughs> No, no, I don't stand around in distress. Often. <laughs> okay, I try not to. Just wondering, just wondering. Yeah, yeah. But you know, yeah. I, yeah. I, I don't. There is no rich. You know, I don't. You know, I'm not. I don't do anything. You know, I have to do something to be part of a society, right? Because that's a group, that's a club. You have to buy your membership into, like a religious tribe, right? Okay, and and um. Do you enjoy having those things that you have to do in order to be a member of that society? Uh, see, I was I was thinking about that earlier when I was doing the dishes, though. Um, what you know, what what kind of what what of all the taxes I'm paying would I still pay if it was all volunteer, right? Right. And I was thinking, would I pay taxes if it was all volunteer? And I definitely would. Um, I would probably even pay most of the same taxes I'm paying today. Really? Yeah, okay. there are some of them where I would go, ah, you know, um, like the Queen's military, ah, wouldn't pay so much for that. Kind of, you know, um, redirect those money into your people's army or something, right? But more or less, yeah, I, I would. Okay. I would still pay. I would still help pay for our uh, collectively paid health care for once. All right. Well then, uh, but um, are you okay with that being forced upon others that don't want it? No, no. That's why I said the whole question. No, 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 no. I don't like force. I, you know. But if all of this was voluntary, you know, will you help pay for this? Will you help pay for that? Would you help pay for this and that? There are most of the stuff that I help pay for by force today, I would still help pay for voluntarily. Okay. So my problem really isn't uh, the idea. No, as Rob says, my problem isn't crowdfunded programs. Or the fact that we as a tribe, because that, you, you know, we have a big welfare state in Denmark. Yeah. So apparently for our tribe, it's very important to take care of each other, right? Yeah, no, and I get that totally I, that uh, uh, in, in that situation, but I would think it would be better, that those kind of things would be better if uh, they were handled um, by private industry rather than, uh, than <laughs> via, via a government organization because, well, it's been my experience and uh, that, to see that um, whenever whenever there's a government involvement, it's it's screwed up. Uh, you get bad quality. You get way overpriced. You get uh, all kinds of bad things coming uh, from. See, the- I see the difference. I see the complete opposite because I was alive in Denmark. You know, it was through my lifetime. It started in my you know late teens that they started privatizing everything in my country, right? 
Okay. Up until like my late teens, everything was popping in Denmark. We had we had one TV station until ninety nine. Okay, and you had one TV station because the government. There were no said commercial so? TV or radio. Everything was was everything was pretty much. Um, uh, what do you say? Publicly owned, publicly ran. Government owned, you mean? Yeah. Well, uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So I I watched that whole thing and how we privatized everything, and all I can say is that what I saw with the privatization is that they undercut each other to get the deal, which meant that they were promising way more than they could deliver, just to get the deal, and um and it just completely hollow out everything. Because, because whereas the stuff that remained public. They they started you know getting really focused on quality instead of on price. Okay, but they had to they had to compete with each other to get some kind of a deal because of government regulation, right? They compete here right now. They compete when it comes to home care for elderly people and sick and disabled. Right? You have a completely free market. Which means that as a, a citizen, you get to choose if you want to use a private company or if you want to use a public company. Right, but you, then you are, have the freedom to choose, and the state pays, right? But but then those those companies that provide this private uh, health care or whatever, they mm -hmm. are under be, de decided by who, by the government who is going to be allowed to provide that service. Correct. They they have public biddings for it, right? They have to. Uh, that's both EU law and Danish law that if a public uh, institution or the state wants a service to be provided, they have to make it into an open uh, bidding market. And why, actually, why we, can't, have to, okay. we have to make it an EU uh, kind of a bidding. So British companies will, you know, they, they are per law allowed to take part of the bidding on Danish public services. Right. See, but see that that comes back to all the regulation involved. If that regulation was gone and and anybody could go out and start up a uh whatever this service was uh w without bidding and just just do it. Just just say I'm going to start everybody a business. Everybody can. No, no, everybody no, can. No, but you here said in, that here in my little town, you can everybody can make a a a home care service. Okay. And they can go up to the city and they can say, we want to um, put our services in. And the city will say, I have a fixed price. And if you can right. have anybody that will take See, you. But, that's you but you still have to go up to the city and say, I want to do this, rather than just saying, I'm going to do this and do it. You still no, you can do that too. But oh. then they, the city won't pay it. Then you do that for um, people who will pay for their own services. R right. For what? what I, <laughs> I, I think there's some confusion amongst the uh, between me and you uh, amongst the uh, the way this is. You say okay because the, the city won't pay it. Well, what what are they? What are they? Why would they? Um, if if I just wanted okay. to. Okay. Okay. If you're if you're disabled or you are ill or you are old and you need help and you can't uh, like clean your own house no more, right? Right. That's a service provided to you by the state then. The yes. Danish state will say, okay, you can't clean your own house. Everybody needs their house cleaned once every two weeks. You can't do your own groceries. So we now give you like three hours of home care that comes into your home, and we pay for it. Okay. And those three hours, you can choose if you want to get a a private company to come and do it, or you want the public people that are you know hired by the city. Beyond that... A lot of people will hire, you know, one or two extra hours of help paid for by their own money. Okay. <laughs> All right. I'm, yeah. I know we came far away from the topic. Yes. Sorry, yes, we <laughs> yes, we did. All right. Let's just look at the yeah. next next thing that we have in line here. Um, are you creating your own tribe? I think we have pretty much already answered that. That. Yeah. Yeah. That you know. For, you definitely did, though, didn't you, Grimnir? Well, I, I didn't mean to. 
<laughs> by accident. I mean, like I said, if if RLM would be considered a tribe, the people that hang out here as a, as a normal, regular basis, um, uh, if they're a tribe, um, uh, yeah, I guess uh, that's creating a, a, my own tribe. Um, although I didn't really create it, I just said I, I got this thing. Anybody wants to be a part, you know, or anybody wants to jump in and talk or whatever, or do a show, that uh, you're all welcome. Uh, but uh, so I, I guess that creates a tribe at that point. But I know it wasn't it wasn't something uh, I meant to do. <laughs> <laughs> it just happened. Oops. It did. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh man. <laughs> oh. Uh, just one little comment to trust. Um, it doesn't matter if you have the ability to pay or not. You will still get it paid from the state, no matter how much money you have. Okay. So it's not just for poor people. It's for everybody. Everybody who has a disability or you can't do anything, regardless of how much money they have, um, they're going to get their services. That's part of being a citizen in Denmark. Just one little thing. And how would one go about becoming a citizen of Denmark? Um, well, you just bend over and <laughs> spread your legs. <laughs> All right. And then you let the queen fuck you. <laughs> oh, joy. Um, <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> okay, so uh, can you live a life riding solo, Grimnir? I say yes, for the most part, yes. Uh, you can because I mean that's pretty much what I do. I, I, you know, I live alone, have very little interaction with the outside world. Of course, riding solo, it depends on how far you take that. Because I mean, I need to be able to go to a store and buy buy stuff. So I mean, at that point, it's I have to depend upon the fact that this store is there, it's open and operating, and they have the stuff that I want. So, so let's say somebody said, okay, okay, G-Man, here's an island, right? Okay. Far away from everything. There's right. a little beach. You got wood and all that fun stuff you need, right? Um, and building materials and all that. Every month we'll dump you a crate of something. Well, that, that, I don't want people dumping me a crate of stuff. Well, let's just say because otherwise you would have to trade. Yeah, well, I'm okay with trade. Yeah, well, would you be fine there all by yourself on your island? Oh, as long as I had the internet. <laughs> <laughs> you got to have my porn, man. I got to have my porn. Damn yeah, right. Yeah, uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah no, I, I mean, you know, um, I, I do enjoy my uh, creature comforts, you know, a house, uh, electricity, uh, water flowing through the pipes and things like that. So um, those uh, are services that are provided at a cost uh, by various other people. Um, so I, I, like I said, it depends on how far you want to take um, uh, being solo. Uh, yeah. I mean, I, I guess I could move up to a mountain somewhere and build a cabin and, and, and live off the land that way. But that's, a, you know, um, I'm lazy, so well, I, 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 <laughs> you could just then you could just come down from your mountain every ten year and shake your head and go, are we still doing this shit? Go back up again, right? Yeah, yeah, because yeah. I, I mean, every, if you came down once every ten, just think, you know, ten years ago, uh, crap was bad, but it's worse now. <laughs> and if you go back yeah. ten years before that. And it was like, oh, this is kind of okay, but it's still pretty messed up. Uh, yeah. So um, coming down every 10 years is not going to encourage you to rejoin, at least in the uh, world that I see going on out there. Um, <laughs> I, I couldn't live life riding solo, man. I need other people. I love other people. I know. I even love the people I don't even like. Yeah, well, see, I, I love those people, too, that I don't like. And there's a lot more that I don't like than I do like. 
<laughs> That's all I right. Haven't met, I haven't met a person that I couldn't find something interesting to entertain me for like at least 15 minutes. Okay. I tell you, some people, you know, after 15 minutes, then, you know. That's it. Yeah, but, uh, it's time to go somewhere else. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. Fifteen minutes might be an overdose with some, and <laughs> fifteen minutes might not be enough with others. You know, it's, uh, <laughs> yeah. So, uh, yeah, I, I, I mean, you know, like here in this RLM uh, chat area, uh, there's people in there that I would, you know, pretty much totally disagree with. Ninety percent, at least, of what they what they have to say or the way they act. Um, but you know that other ten percent still there, so uh, mm-hmm. we 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 can get along with that, right? Yeah, yeah. Was yeah. it Andy Warhol who said ninety nine percent of everything is shit? It sounds like an Andy Warholism. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I, was, I don't find that though. He was a, he was an interesting character, but yeah. you know he was he was in that uh, uh, that tribe that, to... that he was in, which was you know that artist tribe, which was kind of kind of messed up. Yeah, I had that perspective at some point though, like that everything was just shit, and you had to go through it to find that one percent that was the diamond, right? But. Yeah. I kind of changed perspective on that. Okay. And and now you think what? No, I think it's just a matter of, you know, um, finding something to appreciate about everything. Okay. And that... Um, Basically, there are so so many things and so much in life to be grateful for that when I start, um, you know, being grateful, I start seeing all the wonderful things that are. And then 99% of everything isn't shit no more. Okay. Well, good. No, I'm, that's I'm very good. grateful. Yeah, no, that, that's good. And you can appreciate things that you didn't before and that works well how can i how can i stand on a beautiful beach by a beautiful fjord with no mountains i know you people see those norwegian fjords and it's nothing like that in denmark there's nothing high we don't have any mountains here right but you just stand there and you look at that and you see swans and ducks and little boats and everything and i i just don't see the 99 percent that is shit Okay. I just see the glorious splendor that is this world, right? Right. Well, and and uh, you know, I don't know the context of what Warhol was talking about when he made the statement. He may have been uh, talking. Yeah, about, he was probably talking about human-made shit. <coughs> yeah. Yeah. So I I think that. Um, Yeah, I mean, I think we could we could be solo and and um, and and not all of us, obviously. Uh, there's a, probably a small group of people um, uh, that that can live uh, basically a, the life of a hermit, um, and I am one of them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I would say it makes you a minority. It does. It does. Most people, you know, which, you know, you look at this, all this lockdown crap and uh, people being not allowed to do their uh, activities in the public like they used to do. Um, you know, like, like, like most, like most, you know, she, she loves her music festivals and they all, they all got shut down because of what? Because of this, the ignorant idiots in, in the government and the people that accept it in the public that, Oh, the government said this, so this must be the truth. So we'll have to stay locked down and and, and not have any fun activity. Pretty much. And, and if you look at the, the various things they've uh, put a halt to, it's anything that people enjoy. And so. music is so darn healing and healthy for people, man. 
Right, right, absolutely. How they made that part of some illness is just beyond me. Hmm? Well, I, I would, like I said, it's pretty much everything um, that if you enjoy doing it, they hmm. they have cut that off. And and the stuff that you don't enjoy, you can keep continue doing. <laughs> so. Well, I guess, as you'd say, the only way to get over that, right, is to start writing solo and become your own one-man band. Right. Yeah. Which, oh. you know, yeah. I don't know. I could see Moose go one-man band and, you know, have, you know, harmonica and a drum on her bag and a guitar and a flute and a big drum for her foot and some change for the <laughs> other foot. <laughs> <laughs> don't forget the banjo. You can't forget the banjo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the the uh, Minnesota uh, miracle, uh, the one man band, um, the one bluegrass, moose, one moose band, right? The one moose bluegrass bluegrass band. Uh, yeah, it'd be tough. It'd be I don't tough. know. That's that's uh, so 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 that leads. Oh, you don't? No, she's she's in Wisconsin. She she was born in. I Minnesota. am so sorry, Moose. She, I am so sorry. She she was born in Minnesota and lived there growing up. But okay. I'll excuse myself with I don't really know the difference between the two. Okay. Well, they're both up there in a the really cold area. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I know. Yeah. Yes, they're both up there in the in the in the, in the really really cold areas. Yes. Uh, anyway. Um, so uh, so that leads to are we then stronger together, Grimnir, or is that just cake? Well, I, I what do you, explain what do you mean? Is that merely cake? Well, um, is it just one of those lies we tell each other and we tell ourselves? You know, stronger together, divided we are weak. And is it just cake? Just another goddamn lie that isn't really true. And and fact of the matter is, you're a way stronger than I am because you're your own one night one man band, right? Yeah. Um, and I think that also is, is situational. It depends on, on you know, what it is that you're uh, trying to, to to do. Because uh, if you if you need to accomplish some tasks, then uh, that requires you know help from other people. Then you're stronger together. But um, individually, uh, you could be stronger as one if those other folks that are trying to help or really just getting in the way. Mm. So I, I, and I, and I think a lot of this is, uh, is situational. A lot of these topics that we have here for us today, um, you know, like I said, as far as writing solo, sure. As long as there's stuff outside, if I need it, that I can, that I can wander into their territory and get, um, you know, through trade, mm. So, and it works the same as, are we stronger together? Well, um, in some situations, I, I just have to say it's, 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 it's not, you can't say about everything that, uh, yes, we're stronger together. Um, but, but sometimes it's good. Yeah. Yeah, but it's it's um, but it's it's built on dependency, right? Yeah, well, that's the I'm, thing. I'm definitely more dependent than you are. Wouldn't you say? Well, yeah, on on certain things, yeah. I mean, you're you're dependent on 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 your your family and 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 Flash, and uh, you have your your job, so you uh, you, you need that. Um, so. And I, you know, once in a while, I require somebody to just listen to silly rants. Yeah. Otherwise, I go nuts. <laughs> <laughs> true. All right. <laughs> it's true. Oh boy. <laughs> do you do you talk to yourself? If All the I time. May ask? All the time. All the time. Oh yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you talk know. to the cats out by the trash bin? 
No. They have no cats. No, uh, you know. Well, okay. I, occasionally, um, if, if I if I look out in the yard and there's a a cat out there, which they're you know it's it's not every day, but sometimes they hang out in the yard. I don't know why, but cats like my yard. It's kind of yeah, like a wild, they like you like a well, no, just they, like they, everybody else they like you and you don't understand why well yeah, yeah. i didn't mean to make a tribe i didn't mean for cats to come in <laughs> 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 you're just darn like a bull groom here but yeah I'll, I'll 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 talk to the cat if it's out there in the yard just you know like it like it was a person <laughs> I, I don't make little well, you know, whatever cat noises that people I see make to their cats or dogs. I just talk to them like a regular person. I, I do make the cat sounds, too. See, I knew you would because you're a girl. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, at least it's a sexist thing and not a racial thing, huh? Uh, yeah, yeah, well, it's, you know. Yeah. It's just uh, you know, women's women's mind work differently than men's minds. And, uh, <laughs> generally speaking, not 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 absolutely, uh, but uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I don't yeah. know. Maybe divided, we are stronger. <laughs> uh, and again, like I said, at times, um, if there's people, people sometimes get in the way, and and, and they think they're helping. And and they're hindering, so <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, and and sometimes people really want to help, and and then and and you say the best way you can help is uh, go get me some coffee. <laughs> mm. I'm good at that. I'm good at the whole. Don't let me get near anything, but I'll make you lunch. Yeah. See, now that's help. That's helpful. That's stronger yeah. together apart. <laughs> Exactly. When people work, I'm usually the one doing, you know, baking something or cooking something for them. See, thank you for this. I made you bacon. Yeah, see, now you're, you'd be like the perfect helper. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Yeah. Um, so, that's, so, so, in the situation where... Uh, more people are a hindrance and they but but you want to think teamwork blah 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 um then yeah that that there it's cake it's the fake cake mm. the cake is a lie the cake is a lie the cake is a lie it is usually is man unless you bake it yourself it's usually a lie but if you remember and i, and I don't know if you actually ever played the game portal um but no. if if you did, uh, at the end, at, at the end of the uh, credits and the song and all that, um, the cake is actually there. Oh, yeah. So the lie is the lie. Well, it, it's it's difficult to get to the cake because because the the AI there was not going to give you the cake, but oh. you battled your way through all of her puzzles and mazes and. And found your way down into the deep, darkest point of the basement there, and there was the cake. So if you're a persistent fucker, well, because the you cake know, it's not a lie. Well, because the AI was telling you, yeah, at the end, you know, you go through this thing here, and and there will be cake. But if you just went through it as she told you, then you would be burned up in a, a in a little <laughs> fire, which yes. So in her way of saying yes, there will be cake. She just didn't say that cake was going to be for you. <laughs> oh. So it's a deception more than a lie. Um, <laughs> well, and it's maybe good to put in, you know, then it wasn't completely nutty to put it together with that whole stronger together thing. No, 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 it was good. It was good. I know one, you know, um, it depends on what the whole um, purpose, as you say, right? If it is to build, a, but I would say if it is to learn stuff too, we're stronger together. Right. I mean, the idea that we can learn off somebody else's experiences. Sure. That's not cake. 
Well, maybe it is because it's difficult. Mm. Now you complicated cake. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> what you know? That's what you get by talking to a database developer. They complicate even cake. Well, you know, these, it, it, it all the, and and again, that comes back to uh, how is that going to be filed? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> because I, I mean, and it, and it can, it can that cake can be connected to several different uh, other tables, um, yeah. and categorized yeah. in different ways. But uh, yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. you, you need to uh... <laughs> you need to break it down and. You know, right. intuitively put it into different tables, separate them. Yeah, and, and make sure you know you got your cross indexes set up right. Your your external keys. <laughs> yeah, I'm still gonna go with that cake that you bake yourself. Tastes a lot better than the cake you get. Well, everything I think. Well, depending on who you are and how good you are at it, everything you make yourself tastes better. Um, <laughs> and is better, generally speaking, because uh, cause you know what ingredients are going in, and you know, you know the yes. cl- cleanliness, and uh, you know all all kinds of various things, and it's fresh, and yeah, yeah, yeah. And I would say the same about knowledge and learning, though. Oh, sure, sure. Yeah, the stuff yeah. that you know, you know, when you read a book and you understand the book, that's one, you know, one thing. But when you go apply what you just learned from that book and you start applying it in the world you live in, that's when it becomes really fun, though. Right. Yeah. All right, I'm looking at this next topic here, and I don't, I don't, know, <coughs> I don't know the answer. Um, I'm going to say no, but uh, anyway, <laughs> the, uh, the question we is: We could just have this whole topic without actually saying the question, Grimia. Okay. So the question is leave people in the dark. The, the the question is is community something communist invented, and yes. and I would say there was community before there was communists, and um, as as a lot of these groups of people do, they co opted uh, the word community and and made communists out of it. Um, and, and again, and I, I think I've explained this before, not here on this show, obviously, but on you know other previous shows, that communism in and of itself is not a terrible thing. But communism, when forced upon you, is a terrible thing. But then again, mm-hmm. so is democracy, when forced upon you, a terrible thing. Um, because... I I won't want no part of their voting type thing that they have in a quote unquote democracy, uh, but but they say oh you live in a democracy, and so if fifty uh, percent plus one of of whoever is deciding to vote, which is obviously not even close to fifty percent of the actual people, um, but fifty percent plus one of those people that are allowed to and decide to vote say this is the way it should be. And then we will force whatever they decide upon you. So, <laughs> but, 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 um, you know, people that. I think, as you say, if you took away all the um, force part, right? Right. And you were in, um, you know, in the volunteer kind of world, right? Yeah, I, I mean, you remember. I, I like... would probably be, I would probably could be very happy in a small communist community. Or just a commune. Right. They just call them communes, I think. Well, the whole idea is why it would be communist is because nobody would own the production means, right? Right. That's that's what the whole communist thing basically is about, right? Right. And and if 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 the the actual community uh, owns that means of production rather than individuals, that's fine. But in most commun <laughs> In most communist uh, countries, the state owns owns the means of production. And yes, but way before all that communist things, right? And that takes us to the sec- to the sixth part, which is what's the difference between cooperations and corporations, right? And and I would say that um, 
Cause and I now I'm I'm going to talk about Denmark again. I'm sorry. Oh, that's fine. Uh, but 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 Denmark had um, an economy for almost 250 years that was basically built on cooperations. Okay. Um. Which wasn't communist. Right. It was basically it wasn't so that you know. Um, Nobody owned the production means. What it what it meant was that um, back then in Denmark, you had the nobility and the nobles that owned a lot of the land. They owned the bigger castles and they owned all the fields. And they also owned all the horses and the carriages. And they started building mills and they owned the mills. Um, and the, the non-nobles, the regular folks, uh, they had teeny tiny pieces of land. Uh, where they, you know, they would work on the nobles' big fields, and then they would have their own little piece of land. And uh, since all the the mills was owned by the noble people, they had to pay, um, which is essentially a tax, right? They had to pay to use the mill. Um, so they worked almost for free on the nobles' farms because that was the price for using the mill. So what they did was they said, okay, enough of that. We're going to, you know, save up, and then 10 of us little farmers, we're going to build our own mill. Okay. So then I don't have to work for you for free. Now I have my own mill. And it's not like, you know, nobody owned or the community or the state owned the mill. No, the farmers that went together and built it owned the mill, and they could use it freely, right? Okay, that's great. So that was one, and what happened, you know, then they thought, okay, well, we can do that with dairies too. We do that with everything. So they started doing that in the cities and just building up these cooperations. So they figured out, okay, why don't we do a grocery store where we sell all this stuff that isn't owned by anybody, that isn't there to generate a profit. Um, and that's how we our supermarkets were for like, you know, our stores and everything was like that for almost 200 years, though, right? Yeah. Everything was cooperated like that, or a lot of things was. Okay, and then well, you would see the nobles, they would start losing everything because they didn't have their free um, labor. Labor. Yeah. Mm. Well, here in um, where I live, there's uh, our electric company. Uh, they call it a co op, which means that everybody that uh, purchases electricity or uses their their service um, has a, a slice of the the company. Not that you ever actually get anything from it, but they'll send you a statement periodically saying this is how much you know you earned by being uh, part of this co-op because it's still done through a financial means. You know, not like you ever go down there and help run the electric plant <laughs> but, <laughs> but 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 uh, you're you're in a partial ownership um of that by being a customer and the longer that you're in it you know the more it builds up for for you whatever so uh if you ever decided to move or uh you know not no longer use their service uh, then you would get some kind of disbursement check at that point um, hmm. but not until that point which, you know, I, I think it'd be nice if they send you one every year, but that's not how they work. At least not not the one here. Um, but yeah, it's 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 considered the uh, uh, West Mountain. I forget what the name of it is. Some kind of electric co-op. Um, mm. But but does that make sense, right? <laughs> Wouldn't that though be an awesome uh, uh, move or awesome movement to start restart again, right? What's that? <laughs> To say, okay, I will no longer, because just like where you are, where I am, um, power and electricity are very centralized. Right. And um, and, and highly uh, regulated. Sure. Almost, you know, because the, um, oh, it's a mess in Denmark, because, you know, five, six years ago, uh, they privatized most of the electric companies and the big electric company by selling half of it to um, Goldman Sachs, really. Yeah. <laughs> like, what the fuck, people, right? right. Um, but, you know, it would make sense to start building up cooperations and say, okay, 
we're we're gonna just invest and build our own power company. Yeah, yeah. Us that live here, and uh, we're not gonna take you down. We're just not gonna use you no more. We're gonna build this. Okay. Yeah. yeah. That would be, you know. Yeah, no, I mean, it'd be good. Bad way out of this mess. And I I think that would work great for a lot of. a lot, a lot of the various industries that you have to deal with on a regular basis. Yeah. Um, and and if you got enough of those going where people were voluntarily joining and being part of these various cooperations, um, then, you know, what, what, what would you need government for? Yeah. I used to volunteer. We had a, um, uh, um organic or actually biodynamic mainly, but organic... Um, non-GMO, uh, politically correct, didn't buy anything from Israel kind of food store in my old neighborhood. And when I was a lot younger, I used to um, be part of that so that I would pay a little into the store and I would do volunteer hours and and uh, I would get to... Um, to shop there at non, you know, at prices that didn't generate profit for anybody, right? Right. So that I always knew that um, because I put in a couple of hours there, I had uh, really good, I was a vegan at that point, um, I would have really good uh, organic, um, good conscience kind of vegan food to eat for cheap. Good. No, that's good. That's, that's a good thing. I can totally see it. I can see that happening to big supermarkets, though. Well, not about big ones, but the smaller ones, yeah. Yeah. I mean, the big ones are, you know, those, as you ask, what's the difference between cooperations and corporations is uh, generally, and not always, but uh, corporations have shareholders and they uh, have this, that, that typical mindset where, um, you continually need to expand and grow and gain your profits, uh, and whatever that re- requires is not really good for people. Um, uh, so, but see, there's a business idea for you, right? You make a website where you put people into groups that all have one common desire to buy something, and you bulk up and you go directly to the manufacturer and you buy it at a bulk price, right? Yeah, yeah. That would kind of take out a lot of Amazons and all those big companies and corporations that are making tons of money on trading because they really just, you know, make it a hassle. Yeah, I, you know, I have no problem with corporations making a ton of money. Um, no, I, I'd just be funnier if you, nobody, if you were just, nobody were making all that money. So. Yeah, I guess, yeah. 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 I mean, I, I've, well, you, know, you could you could build a system like that, Grimner, couldn't you? Uh, if I wanted to. Yeah. <laughs> All right, All right, we're out of time. Yeah. Oh man. All I right. don't know if we covered the whole tribe thing. I, I, you know, I don't either. But yeah, mm. I, I think we covered enough to. Yeah, we can we, all around. Uh, we, we, we can we yeah. can we can discuss it again on another week. Sure. 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 Yeah. Why sure. not? Um, <laughs> <laughs> we could talk. We it's, could do. It's either that or we read Joe Biden's uh, political program from A to C. Yeah, I'm gonna pass on that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> of course, I, I, as far as I know, he hasn't released any political programs. He's, you have to wait uh, uh, until until I'm elected. Then I'll give you my program. No, 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 I read it. I read it. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I fucking read it, man. All right, all right. Um, yeah. Anyway, uh, thanks, everybody, for tuning in. Now, on Tuesday, there's no more Flash on Tuesday. He's He's oh. given up in a perfect world, realizing that it's never going to be one. Um, <laughs> yeah, he spends it with me then. So, uh, yeah, anybody wants to fill in on Tuesdays, let me know if if you don't have access already, uh, and and uh, and and go ahead and do a show, uh, or, or Wednesdays for that matter. Now, on because there's nothing on Tuesday or Wednesday at this point in time. On Thursday, we have uh, dropping your coil with uh, Larry, Rob, and Flash, and then on Friday is the Freakers Ball. 
and uh, check the schedule on reallibertymedia.com, although I do need to update it. Uh, a couple updates I need to do, like removing In a Perfect World and and uh, the uh, Power Hour off of there, because uh, I don't know what Prince is planning on doing exactly yet for his Power Hour, because it's not going to be Power Hour anymore. Uh, anyway, so anyway, thanks for tuning in, everybody. Um, have yourself yeah, thanks. Uh, have yourselves a great day, good week. We love y'all. Yeah. We may not like y'all, but we love y'all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we do love you all. <laughs> thanks for being part of the RLM tribe. Um, weirdos. <laughs> that's why freaks and weirdos. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So just sing a little radio head there. You'll get it. Um, <laughs> I'm a creep. All right. Uh, I guess that's it. Anything else? No, nah, just uh, love you people. Okay. Go be weird. Spread weirdness. Yeah, do that. Yeah. Peace. <laughs>